My dear people, welcome to the Liturgy of the Word, the first weekday of Advent. And today, in a special way, the Church celebrates the Feast of St. Andrew, the Apostle of Jesus. And so let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed Apostle Andrew was for your church, a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us, a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When Scripture says, those who believe in him will have no cause for shame, it makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. All belong to the same Lord, who is rich enough. However, many ask his help, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But they will not ask his help unless they believe in him, and they will not believe in him unless they have heard of him, and they will not hear of him unless they get a preacher, and they will never have a preacher unless one is sent. But as scripture says, the footsteps of those who bring good news are a welcome sound. Not everyone, of course, listens to the good news. As Isaiah says, Lord, how many believed what we proclaimed. So, faith comes from what is preached, and what is preached comes from the word of Christ. Let me put the question, is it possible that they did not hear? Indeed they did. In the words of the psalm, their voice has gone out through all the earth, and their message to the ends of the world. The Word of the Lord Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Alleluia! Alleluia! Follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you into fishers of men. Alleluia! The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were making a cast in the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in their boat, with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. At once leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, 
we are aware that we are saints in the making by virtue of our baptism. How have I lived this wonderful potential today as God's beloved? The reality is that these times are challenging for any one of us. And from time to time, we tend to forget as to what we are capable of because we are too preoccupied by the ongoing tensions, anxieties and difficulties on the human level, especially in this pandemic times. The stories and lives of the many men and women, saints, like St. Andrew today, become an inspiration for us to uplift our spirits and work towards seeing our true potential as God's beloved. St. Andrew, whose name means brave, was together with his brother Peter when Jesus summoned them with these words, Come, follow me. And their response were almost immediate as they left their nets, possessions and family to follow after Jesus. While it can be difficult to phantom, especially for us in these modern times, regarding the responses of the four fishermen, but the presence of Jesus must have captivated, captured their hearts over time, that they were ready and willing to trust Jesus as their leader and saviour and step forward into the unknown. Perhaps our response to Jesus' call might not be so immediate like Peter, Andrew, James and John, but can come about in a gradual way when we open our hearts to listen and become immersed in the person of Jesus. And this is similar to the story of the poor widow who offered all she had, her last two precious coins, as she held nothing back, even for herself, because of her unshakable love and trust in God alone. The apostles were filled with zeal after the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost to go forth to preach the gospel, the good news, within and beyond the boundaries of Israel. Because of the opposition and rejections faced from the people and their enemies, they were martyred for their faith in Jesus and for the gospel message. And in the case of St. Andrew, he was crucified in Greece on an X-shaped cross in AD 61. What can we learn from the character of St. Andrew today? Even though he was not part of the inner circle of Jesus, like Peter, James and John, yet Andrew was one who had the gift to connect people with Jesus. When we go through scriptures, we have first, in the case of Simon his brother, whom he brought to Jesus. And this is found in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 42. And we have the boy with five barley loaves and two fishes, when they were in a lonely, deserted place with 5,000 persons. It's found in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 8 and the following. And lastly, Andrew brought the Greeks together with Philip to see Jesus. And this is also found in the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 22 and the following. There are people in our midst who are struggling, especially with mental health issues and on the verge of taking their lives. And people who are struggling in terms of personal life, family and career. How can we become like Andrew to help them connect with Jesus, also known as our Saviour, the Good Shepherd and the Divine Healer, especially in these pandemic times? Only when we have a personal encounter with the person of Jesus, we can then share the similar zeal displayed by Andrew in his actions and convictions towards the other. Despite our personal sins, brokenness and imperfections, we need to connect with Jesus, especially through scriptures and the Eucharist, as our source and strength to help us to reach out and touch the lives of people out there. The situation here in Singapore 
is gradually changing as compared to the earlier lockdown period and restrictions, where now more people are allowed to come to worship in the physical church. I sense there is a call today, especially for the able-bodied Catholics, to have this paradigm shift where one needs to make a conscious effort to move away from more online masses and come to worship in the physical church together as the body of Christ. Our physical encounter with Jesus in the Eucharist can help us recognize our identity and potential as saints in the making and become credible witnesses to the people around us. And so the question, my dear people, do the people around us see more and more like the example of Andrew in us all as disciples of Christ in their midst today? Because at the end of our lives, you and I have to give an account as to how we lived our lives and used our talents for the greater glory of God's name. Let us call on the Lord today and always to make us his conduit and instrument, just like Andrew, for those people around us who are facing challenges and difficulties in these current times, as we witness and move forward as saints in the making for this new liturgical year of 2022. Amen. We want to pray this wonderful prayer that Jesus taught us. Jesus called Father, his Father is Abba. And this is what he shared with us. And so we pray in the words that our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May communion in our sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ, may marry to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, especially in these current times. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.